Hello and welcome to another video. And a very different one if you can't tell, I am in my bedroom with all of my magical creatures. We've got our Hedwig over here, was in a recent haul. Um, Fang, I decided to put the sorting hat on Fang, if you didn't notice. We've got the bow truckle, we've just got everybody here. And of course, I have my Niffler, which I feel like I need because for some really bizarre reason, I feel nervous about this video. I feel like vulnerable, maybe because I'm sitting in my bedroom. I don't know, I'm exposed, I'm exposed. <laughs> uh, but it, I don't know, there's potential, there might be tears had, but it's kind of like a sit down, chatty video and a sort of like announcement. I feel hesitant to use the word announcement, like it's a massive thing, but in a way it is. It is an announcement because what it is, is an addition to this channel and that addition is you. And I wanted to kind of make this video a little bit more um, and share a little more about why, why. And what am I talking about? I am talking about, I created a little space for all of us to come together as a community um, on Discord. And we'll get more into that at the end, but I thought I would just share why and like my journey into as brief as possible, I can be a chatty Kathy, okay? Um, my journey into like why I started this YouTube channel. And I mean, we'll get into more depth on like why Harry Potter, like why a Harry Potter YouTube channel, because if you're watching this, I think you know why. Because you connect to the wizarding world as much as I do. You connect to Harry Potter as much as I do. I would venture to guess. Um, I mean, I'm tearing up, I'm tearing up as we speak, just saying the words Harry Potter. And I just know that you all would understand and I know you all would feel safe in that um, and just feel that love. So why did I start this channel? I have wanted to start a YouTube channel for, I think it's like, I literally have receipts for like seven years or something like that. I have a receipt for a mic that I bought many, 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 many years ago. And I made excuse after excuse. And really, it just wasn't the right time for me. Sometimes things are just not the right time. And then COVID hit, okay? COVID hit and it was, um, well, actually a mostly good time for me because I'm an introvert. I got to be at home and that was great. At least that aspect, not the rest of it, okay? We all know things went down. They went down the drain, okay? Um, and then two years ago, two years ago, I went into a medical appointment and ever since have had complications that have left me with chronic pain for two years. And I needed something to pour my love into. And Harry Potter was that thing. And it started off by, um, being able to be on the receiving end of other people who put that love out there. So I want to start by just thanking those people who welcomed me back. Um, not that I ever left into the Harry Potter world, um, but made me just go and remember now is the time I need this now. And I get to be that person to put love out there, to love something because the other reason that I started this is I think a lot of you who watch this, who watch me, who watch other Harry Potter people, um, who have been in the lives that I've gotten the pleasure to talk to, um, feel similarly to me, which is different. Um, huh. why are these things coming out my eyeballs? Okay. I don't know. I have always felt different in this world and not necessarily in a bad way, like just not understood, just weird, just like, I mean, the thing that stands out the most is I love a lot. When I love something, I love it a lot. <laughs> it is um, likely, I mean, it's the ADHD aspect of me. I'm pretty sure I'm on the autistic um, spectrum and trying to get a diagnosis for that. Some of you in the lives know that. We've talked about all sorts of things in the lives and and it's, you know, it's kind of an aspect of it, but I just have always like 
recently I placed an order for some very magical items that I hope will be coming out this Friday. It will be one of the most amazing haul videos ever. And I was so excited by it. I mean, I'll share it in that video. I remember my husband saying, yeah, it's not, he wasn't saying this in a bad way because he knows me and we've been together for like 17 years. Oh God, I hope I got that right. Um, <laughs> but just that most people don't get that excited. And, and in a way that can feel really lonely. Um, it can feel like you don't see other people getting this excited by things. And to me, that's like a shame, not a shame, but like, I feel like you're missing out. And I felt like not only did I need this channel and this space to put love into, so I wasn't focusing on my own personal challenges. Um, but I also, one of the reasons I started this channel is to connect with other people, to connect with other people that felt alone in the world, different, weird, a bit Luna-esque. My, my spirit animal is Luna. She always is. Um, that sort of oddball that people look at and go like, I just don't understand. Um, but just is filled with love and others don't realize that that's what that is. That's what love is. <laughs> that's what expressed love is. And I love, love, love expressing myself. And I feel deeply, I mean, I read this in a book about depression. Um, not depressed, not depressed whatsoever. <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, not a fun roller coaster ride. But I read in that book about, and I just knew it in my bones, like about how expression is so, so vital for us as human beings. And I feel like I see so many people where that is stifled. And to me, it's just like coming out all the time. And this was just another place that I could be and express myself and express what I love and be silly and be playful and hug some nifflers <laughs> in my bedroom and not feel judged and feel understood. It's, it's so, so vital and I hope you watching are in a safe space in your life or have a space that you can go to um, to express yourself. And maybe, hopefully, the space that I am sharing here and have created is that safe space for you or is at least one safe space for you of many because we should all feel safe in this world. And I hope we at least have somebody that understands us, that loves us, that doesn't, that finds our weird wonderful. Um, and I don't know, it just took me many years to get to this point, but I, I just, I, I sometimes feel like fate is a real thing, even though I don't like to believe in fate because I like to believe I have control over my own life and body and all these things, but you know, I like a good balance and it feels like now is the right time to do that. And I feel reassured in that because of you all. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to start this community space because not only is expression important and needed and vital, but connection is so needed and vital. And that's another thing that I read in that book. Um, I will link that book down below. It's a wonderful book um, about depression. But in it, he gets into how not only is connection, I think I just flipped you off, excuse me. <laughs> um, not only is connection important, but it needs to be reciprocated. Both people, it was a study done, both people need to feel like they got something out of the relationship. And while I love like having the community space on YouTube and I will be using it, the little community tab, it's like my husband said, it's called that, but it's not truly a community. A community is a space where we get to engage with each other, where I, it's not a one-sided thing of just me talking to you, but I get to learn who you are. We get to connect. We get to um, get that expression back and forth and have real engagement. And so that's what this video is about. It's about you. It's about us. It's about all of us weirdos in the world who have never felt fully accepted or like we have a safe space to be and to love and to express ourselves. So 
I created, one moment please, <laughs> let me move this curtain over here. <laughs> I created a community and that community is on Discord. Why Discord? I have seen some other people, some other Harry Potter creators um, share um, a Discord community. And there's a reason for that, but I wanted to share why Discord. So I have been on Discord um, prior to starting this YouTube channel. I even had a server and community prior to starting this YouTube channel. And before I even started this channel, it was one of my goals to create a community space for all of us to come together and support each other and feel safe and feel the love and be in the wizarding world all the time. Because you know what, that's the other thing is this world can feel, especially now, so uncertain and so scary. And I don't know about you. It's like I was thinking about it the other day because at this current time, um, the muggle job that I have and the people in the lives know this, is uncertain. <laughs> We're going through budget season. I don't know if I will have a job in a few months. That feels really uncertain and that can feel really scary, but you know, there's so many quotes in the Harry Potter world that talk about fear and talk about like why living in fear just stifles how how much we can feel alive in this moment. So I don't want to live in fear. Um, I don't want to look around and see only scary things. So that is the intent with this space, both the community space and this channel is to be that love and light, is to share what I love and put hopefully light out into the world and joy out into the world, but also have a community where we can come together. So why Discord and what is Discord? Maybe you're watching this and you're going, I don't even know what Discord is. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm an 80s girl. So I don't know if any of you all watching are an 80s girl or gal or, um, whatever, but we grew up with this little thing called AIM and it was an instant messaging um, platform. It was very simple and it was just a way to chat with people. That's how I would sort of correlate what Discord is. It's just a community space to chat and basically you get to create a little space of your own and you can create little chat rooms um, that are themed however you want to create them. And so that is what I did. And that's all it is. It's not really that complicated. Um, what I love about it is there is no algorithm. There is nothing judging us, nothing sorting us in ways we don't want to be sorted. It's just us and we get to customize it together. It gets to evolve as we evolve and support us how we need support. So I have created, um, hold on one moment. <laughs> There's still water pouring out of my, <laughs> I was gonna say orifices. <laughs> I told you the weird is on point today. <laughs> so I created this server to feel really magical and talk about all things Wizarding World. So I have sections in there, little chat rooms. That's really all they are is just little chat rooms for us to talk to each other. I have chat rooms where we can talk about news in the Wizarding World, what's new, what's exciting, where we can have a general chat, we can gather together in the Great Hall. I have a section where we can get more personal and share our own magical creatures. I used to have one just sitting here when we first started, my cat Hermione, and then I started filming and she was like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I won't take that personally. Um, I have chat rooms to talk about um, Hogwarts Legacy and gameplay. I have chat rooms hold on let me check here we go i have it up we have chat rooms for art we have chat rooms for cosplay um we have a chat room for the room of requirements so if you're like me and you're gathering all sorts of magical creatures and things and collectibles and replicas you can show them off so i can see what you got we can all see what you got we can just gather and love and all the things that are magical we have a library section so we talk about all things harry potter books we have Diagon Alley, so we can talk shopping, okay? You know, we got we got a little thing for buying stuff. We could talk about that. And I also have a section called Hospital Wing. You will see all of it in there. So if we need to really support each other, because as I've shared here, some personal things, we're all going through stuff. Everyone is going through something, and we must remember that. And so I wanted to create a space where we can talk about that as well and be there for each other, even though we're not therapists. We could still be there for each other. Be an extendable ear for each other. 
Um, and then uh, there's just so much opportunity for it. We've got voice chat channels where I can pop in and we can just talk to each other, even though I'm highly intimidated by telephone calls, so we'll see how it goes. But we can do video chats. We can get together and have movie watches, I'm hoping, eventually. I have loads of ideas, but right now it's just a simple space, a simple magical space for you and me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of a particular song there. I almost sung it. You don't need to hear me sing, okay? But it's a very magical space. I have already pre-released it to my live group because they have been lovely, but I love all of you. I love all of you. Every single one, the waterworks are about to come. I'm reeling them in. <laughs> I love every single one of you that has commented, every single one of you that has liked a video, every single one of you that has followed, that has shared. Um, some of you have sh have done your own shorts recommending my channel. Like what, what, <laughs> to those of you who have already donated to me, what, thank you. Like every single one of you and to any of you that are just passive watchers because I'm often a passive watcher of other people and don't even leave a comment, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for all of you. And if you want to join this community space and you just want to watch and you just want to be there and you just want to feel like you're in a community but you don't want to post because maybe, I don't know, you just don't want to. That's up to you too. It's totally up to you. It's our space and we get to do what we want with it. But ultimately, I hope it gets to be a place of extended love and light and joy and playfulness and fun and just focus on all things good and magical and support for each other. So this video is really just like why I started this channel, but also, I mean, it's only a few months old, this channel, and it's just incredible how much I feel the love reciprocated back. So I'm already so thrilled with this community, with or without this additional community space, but it's just gonna next level it. It really is to get to know you all more. And I hope that you will join and we can get to know each other and support each other and love each other and love the wizarding world. Um, so there you go. I don't know why I felt so vulnerable. I was so intimidated by doing this video, probably because when my mouth opens, things just come right out and I get nervous. I never know what's going to come out, but I also knew the waterworks were going to happen because I'm a feeler. I feel things that came off wrong. I feel things. I feel a lot. I feel a lot and I love a lot and I love you all. And I thank you all so much for your support so far um, in this short little journey on YouTube. But it's I'm in for the long haul. I'm in for the long haul on this channel. I'm in for the long haul with you all. Um, and I'm just sending you all love. Um, but if you would like to join, I've got the link down below. Oh my God, I feel vulnerable, but it's down below. And if you have absolutely any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you don't know how to use Discord, reach out to me. Email is included down below. If you hop on Discord and you don't know how one of the chat boxes um, works, how one of the chat section works, message me, direct message me. I'm a very open person. I'm not gonna be that person that is just elusive. <laughs> I'm not a demiguise, if you will, <laughs> and hard to get to and hard to reach. Um, you know, as much as I have my own muggle job to do, I will do my best, but I hope to just be there as much as you all have been there for me. So thank you so very much. I hope to see you all there. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.